Hello, hello. Welcome to From the Heart with Heather and Nutrition Tuesday. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. All right, so today we're going to talk about energy in the kitchen and what that really means, right? So not necessarily just the food that you eat, but the energy, the atmosphere in the kitchen, and the energy and the intention that you put into your foods and your drinks. So as you know, we're all going through kind of a quarantine period, but even if you're not in a quarantine period, this could this can be applied anytime. So I'm a Reiki practitioner. I work with energy, but I bet you have worked with energy yourself. So just an example that would be like, um, if you feel someone staring at you from behind, you feel the energy of that person. So let's talk about how energy can work for you in the kitchen. One of the ways that's very probably, you know, mainstream would be prayer, praying over your food. And I'm, I'll give you a personal example of this. My husband, before we, when we dated, he always prayed over his food and we would pray typically on special occasions, but not necessarily every meal in my family, you know, in my household growing up. But I really liked that. It really was um, very attractive to me that he did that. And I kind of took on that habit. And as I continued to pray over my food, even today, it has gotten stronger. And that is working with energy. Yes, we're a creator, whatever you may deem as the creator, um, just working with the power of God or creator with your food on a regular basis, you can feel the energy grow. Give it a shot. See, see what you think. But it's the repetition of the practice. It's the repetition of the prayer and the mindfulness when you pray. Number one. Number two, fun things in the kitchen. So this is a little bit lighter, right? So Bringing in fun into your kitchen, it changes the energy. And I'm going to give you a fun example. So I had saw this little um, doodad, this little, what is it, a decanter in a way, I guess, pitcher, a water pitcher. And a long time ago, and I was like, that is so cool, but I really didn't want to spend the money. And I recently got a gift card and splurged on it. And this is what it sounds like. So it gurgles. It's a gurgling fish, okay? Um, and besides it just being fun and it's kind of a lighthearted thing, um, the story behind this has energy to it too. So the creator of this was in France and his brother was getting married. They were getting married in a small town, so there was no hotels. They were staying at families and everyone spoke French. He did not. And they had a decanter that was fish shaped that made gurgling sounds. And you know, French, French meals are a lot longer than American meals. And what they were, what he found himself doing was getting a lot, drinking a lot of water because it lightened up the mood and everyone would laugh. And that was the way that they communicated back and forth and got a little tickled over it. So not only does the vibration of this, you know, the making of this, so he ended up coming back to the U S played around with a bunch of different um, designs and molds and this is what came out of it They make them in a bunch of different colors too but it's fun right so energy here next when we're speaking of water now this is what may be one that you have heard of or not so in the 90s there was a researcher his name was Dr. Emoto okay in the early 90s he was noticing studying water and he noticed that polluted water had a different molecular structure than clean well, makes sense right but then as he started studying he started playing around with emotions and vibrations in water so for instance we would pour two two glasses here And I would say, you are terrible. I hate you. And then the other one would be like, oh, I love you. Such a beautiful body of water. This is a nourishing, cleansing water. And so what he did was he ended up freezing the water 
and also taking a look at the molecular structure of each cup of water, one that had been infiltrated with anger and negativity and one with positivity. Sounds hoodoo hood voodoo, doesn't it? But believe it or not, it came out where the water that had the positivity poured into it and the love had beautiful crystal like molecular structures of snowflakes. Just beautiful designs. You can look this up. Look it up. The name of the book is, what is it? Hmm. The Hidden Messages in Water. So check it out. Take a look at it. Wasn't that long ago, really, in the 90s. The book came out in 1999. So, and then the water that was talked to negatively, the structure of it looked totally different. So how can that benefit you, right? So it sounds so easy, but try it. So when you have water every day, make it your intention that this water is nourishing and healthy to my body. You can even you can even put your power of the prayer into it and make it a sacred practice. Yes, sounds a little far out, but having that sense of mindfulness, if it's been proven scientifically, you can also work with it and see if it emotionally resonates with you. All right. There's also another, um, you could also, another thing you could do with that also is just uh, get you a sticky note and put an affirmation. Today is a great day. Today I do my best work. What, Whatever it is, whatever you're looking to affirm in your life, I am healthy. I, my immunity is strong. I am happy. Put it on your water. Remember it, look at it, drink it, and go on. See if you notice, maybe journal and see if you notice a difference. There is one other thing, excuse me one second. <laughs> it's allergy season, so I'm like, ah! Um, I, another thing that ties in with that is just, you know, we talked about the fun stuff, but I also like to infuse fun cups. So I'll buy Tervis's and different things that have designs that really speak to me or just remind me of fun instead of just something plain. I do that with coffee cups. Like this is a gift that came from a friend and it reminds me of her and it also reminds me of my birthday. And then I have a little quirky tea and a little saucer. And this is what I will pick this cup and this saucer every day, all day, because it's just comforting and have good memories infused into it. But that is just really the simplicity of positivity and fun that you can bring into your kitchen at any time, right? Another thing I like to do, we're going to go back to water in a minute because I have one other thing on water, is flowers. Now, you may or may not like flowers. I love them. It makes me happy. So I have a couple different things um, lying in my windowsill. Like, for instance, I'll show you these. They're not all symmetrical, but they're beautiful to me. And they go through seasons just like we do. There's times when these don't bloom and they look kind of bad. I never give up on them. I always water them. I look at them every day. I think about how beautiful they are and they're little babies. They're little babies right there. And, and you know, I make fun little jars and things for them, but it makes me happy. So thinking about surrounding yourself these didn't cost hard. I mean, actually, these are from my grandmother's memorial service. But, um, you know, it doesn't, but my point is, it doesn't cost a lot to really create beauty and instill a sense of calm and peacefulness in your kitchen that will pour out into everyone that comes to your kitchen and also to your food. All right. Back to water. So um, we talked about with the affirmations on the cups. There's also a thing, and you can look this up if you want more information, but I'm going to give you a little bit on it. It's called the two cup. Might be the two cup challenge, but it's the two cup. Two cup method. That's what it is. So you have two cups, right? On one of them, you describe your current situation. So try not to be too negative, but what your life is and what you want it to be. And then you pour what you want it to be into your current situation. I'm making a hot mess over here. Good thing it's only water, right? And then you have your, your desired situation on your post-it. And that's the water that you drink all day. Two cup method. And that is that goes along, um, on the, along the lines of quantum physics. 
So if you want more on that, you can Google two cup method. And if you want to just to start out simple, you can just straight bless your water, put your intentions into it and go from there. But I think it goes again. I want to just emphasize that both power of prayer and the power of intention is a repetitive thing. And just like with energy work with Reiki, and I can tell you this because I, because I'm a Reiki practitioner, but the more I, the more I practiced with Reiki, the more it changed and grew for me in ways that I would have never believed. It's just the way it works, right? All right. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, bath water. Also, if this is out of the kitchen, but back to intentions and water, you can also put intentions into bath water. All right. Couple other things before we wrap up, because it is getting long. I talked about um, just surrounding your kitchen with things that you like. It kind of puts you in a lighter mood, especially if you're like me, like I don't like spending a lot of time in here. So doing, having fun things, like having silly things like this. I love, I love, I love, I love. But then I have little novelty items. This is a salt and pepper shaker. This is my grandma's and I love it. You know, it's fun. I bust it out sometimes for, <laughs> I then broke it out for, I think Thanksgiving and I filled it up with salt and pepper and everything and no one used them because I, they didn't realize what they were. But they have holes on them. They do have, they work. Yeah, this one's a salt. Oh, I think you're supposed to throw it over the right shoulder. <laughs> All right. And then just, you know, maybe it's a good time right now to get your fine china out or get your pieces, get your vintage pieces. I have my grandmother's old china, and it's nothing like exquisite. I think my mom was going to get rid of it, but I kept it. Just getting certain things out, use them. Things that make you happy or give you a positive feeling, this is the time to use them. Have fun with them, okay? All right, I hope your week is going well. And if there's anything, any traditions, energy work, ways that you work with energy, do share those. I'd love to hear them. And until next time.